Hey, it's Milton Daily Homes Chuck here, and uh, much stronger list than yesterday. Um, one of the things that I'll mention before we get started is the reason why we do these videos is to get you from where you are now to where you want to be. And along the way, there's a couple next steps that you can take. We've got our buyer planning and strategy sessions, which aren't on those three options, which we basically filled for the week. I think we're going to start offering those more often. I think it's a great thing to just come in one-on-one, -on -one, get your questions answered, do some really fantastic work around that whole process of what needs to happen in order for you to stay safe. So that's, uh, that's what we do. We add interpretation to the information. We really sort things out and we keep you safe. That's the bottom line. So let's get right to today's list. I think there's nine properties. And uh, so the first one up is 620 Ferguson, number 61. It's at 289,995. Now we have one for sale in uh, in this complex at 292. And uh, now ours is 1295 square feet. I'm not sure how big theirs is. Uh, there's a rather large uh, square footage category that we have to check box select. There's no way we can put, I have buyers all the time saying, well, why can't you put the square footage? It's not allowed on the system. So it'd be cool if we could do it, but we can't. No, they haven't quoted that in, in this here. And just looking at room size, it looks like ours might beat them, but it's really hard to tell. Uh, Forty six eighty eight per month is attached to this one every month. It says freehold in here, but it does, those are condo fees technically. So I'm not sure exactly, even though I have one listed, it's more of a legal question is how is it registered through this home, those extra fees. Obviously, if you don't pay them, you go to collections and there's a big, you know, there's there's a disaster that can happen. Same with any other condo. So it is attached to this place. Same as the places on Farmstead, which I kind of kicked uh, to the curb yesterday. But anyhow, this is, uh, th it's a three-story home, very affordable. And um, they've got some laminate floors in here too on the, uh, on the main level, which is the second level. So wait for the photos. It looks like it's certainly competitive price. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Edwards is at 319.8. And so it's a Croftside model. Don't usually see croft sides for 3198 anymore. And uh, so you've got some laminate floors in here too. The greens, the yellows, the oranges, those are tough colors to uh, to really sell a home with, especially in the principal rooms, neutralizing, even if they invested, you know, $1,000 to paint the, uh, the main floor, I think that that would have been certainly a worthwhile investment because they do have everything else. And these models are so popular. If you're not selling, then, you know, it's usually because of something cosmetic. Um, the, uh, the backsplash in here, they've upgraded the hood fan, uh, extended the pantry out here. I take the blue off the, uh, the, the dishwasher there. So anyhow, I, this one, I, I'd be surprised if it didn't sell at this price. It seems like it's very good value. And even if you have to polish up a little bit, you're still probably in a great place. The, those models, 330, 335 is not unusual for a home like that with the, with a bit of polish on it. So Spire Circle is at 399 and it's a it's an end unit. So it's just under 1,300 square feet. And so basic inside with carpet. Um, you know, it just, I don't know what these guys were thinking, really, the backsplash here. Um, they just, there's so many models for sale. Some of them are bigger than this one. They may not be end units, but they're all at that 315 mark, and nobody's willing to budge. The only guy that ended up selling was was a home that was listed at 305 and said, okay, screw all these guys. They're obviously priced up there. I'm going to be competitive. So they just, I don't know, I don't see a lot of legs in this price here. It is the, the version I like with the two bedrooms upstairs instead of three, because I find the three is really, really small. Now, we have the return of the front back house, okay? So 1130 Davis Lane, I was talking about front back homes a couple days ago. I said, have you ever heard me talk about that? And and the, the client said, no, I have, I've never heard you talk about it. So here it is, front back home. I'll break it down for you. So the front of the home or the back of the home I don't know this fronts on to Davis Lane and you can see that there's nice long driveways and some people have actually fenced in some or part of their front yard or the backyard I don't even know what it's called and then so you flip around you look on the other side of this one and this is what you see so this is Main Street and you don't really have a backyard there are some people if you look at the fence down here They've done a bit of a yard, but I mean, it's not private. 
And I have a feeling there's a restriction on the height of these yards because you don't see many fences that are more than about four or five feet tall. Um, to me, it's not ideal. Now, there's a certain trade-off there because what you get with the home is more space. We're talking about 1,800 square feet of total living space, which means that normally includes the basement, okay? So when you see total living space, subtract the basement square footage, and that's how big the technical square footage of the home is. Now, um, let's go inside here. So the pink carpet may hurt them a little bit. It's hard to find buyers that re to really get excited about that. The kitchen looks nice. There's big space here for a table. Uh, you know, it's uh, these homes actually have really nice layouts. Uh, that's a king size bed in there too. And then you've got that finished basement. Um, I, again, I just have issues with Main Street and the noise there and just the weird setup with the two doors. Um, the advantage is you're in a fantastic location that you're really close to the GO train, you're close to the Superstore, you're close to the Art Center, all those things that they listed in here. Um, really awesome location. You could take the kids literally across the road and take them swimming at the community center. Now Dow Landing is a new listing. It's at Holly and Yates. Um, I don't even know where it is. That's how new this street is. 409, it's three bedroom, three washroom, and it has a finished basement. It's 2,300 square feet. So we're seeing semis that are like 2,021. This is bigger than that. And remember, it's total living space, so the same thing. It's probably 2,000 on the first two floors, maybe three or 400 square feet downstairs. Um, Three bedroom semis are are tricky to sell in this range. I think that in order to really get the muscle in this range, you have to have that fourth bedroom so someone could expand their family. But at 409, not seeing any photos, I, it looks like there's all carpet downstairs. Probably a fair price. I think that the, the market for, and there's no air conditioning too, the market for stuff over 400 that's not fully detached is really hit or miss. It's, it, it's very specific and it can take a little bit longer for homes to sell. Now Duncan Lane 4098 now we're talking about a townhouse end unit 2100 square feet and uh, about 110 feet deep and there's been better homes on Duncan Lane that have you know have sold for less than this. And when I say better I mean just more upgrades. There have been a couple of these models that have sold recently um, and the yard kind of cuts in a little bit just because of the angle of, of the fence here. I'm not sure if, if you would own the side, you get a bit of a side yard here, but uh, I don't know, to me it seems a little bit high, um, but I mean those models do tend to sell for good money. 1538 Clark is next one up, and this model, if I recall correctly, is like 2,100 square feet. Now, plus a finished basement, so the total living space might be 2,400, 25, could even be more. It's hard to say, but anyhow, 499 to me, this is this is in strong contention for Chuck Pick of the Day. You have uh, a nice big family room, California shutters here, uh, the cabinets. The, the sort of natural wood tends to date it, but it's easy to refinish these cabinets. You could probably hire someone to come in this kitchen, maybe for $1,000 to $1,500, refinish these cabinets, and you have like a brand new, awesome kitchen. Red can be a tough color sometimes in photos too. They've done this whole built-in downstairs. Uh, fantastic. You know, you put a TV up there instead of the mirror. Um, terrific stuff. I'm a big fan of this one. The bathroom downstairs, plus you've got a decent yard with a deck. So these guys have poured some serious money in. Clark is a bit of a busier street, but I think it's still a fantastic deal. Keep in mind, there's only three bedrooms upstairs, so that can affect them, obviously, as well. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. So 286 Schreier is at 499. Upland, 2300 square feet. Just It's like 2301. Um, it's a split level design, so you can see the dining room, and then there's the split level where you've got the open area above the garage. This area right here, so there's a lofted space, uh, walkout balcony here, 
And so these lights normally in, an, in a normal home don't look the best. They look like they're going to hit the ceiling. This one has lots of space, so I'm sure this room looks terrific. Um, I love a white kitchen. I've talked about this in daily homes, especially when you've got a darker floor, you've got darker accents, you've got nice stainless steel appliances. This to me is a terrific looking kitchen. Uh, the money was certainly spent, although it's all carpet inside, but I still think at $4.99, this is a screamer. I like it a lot. Again, in contention for Chuck Pick of the Day with Clark. And this one on McLaren is probably the third contender for Chuck Pick. $7.99. You've got two acres worth of land. You've got a nice street in Campbellville. Uh, it's a little bit dated. Peel the wallpaper down. You've still got wainscoting. Paint the house. Not a big deal, okay? So there's still some fantastic things about this home. Exposed bricks. So again, you refinish these. You change the handles. Put a new countertop in. Let's say you're in the kitchen on 5,000. Put new appliances. Let's call it 10 or 15,000. Doesn't matter. You could really transform this place and turn it into a knockout. Okay, so I really believe layout function looks like it's all there. And uh, you've got exposed wood here. You've got things that you just don't see in new homes. You've got the land. Uh, you know, you've got these beautiful dormers. Look at this. I mean, you've got a walkout basement, double car garage, huge trees. It's on the septic in the well. It's all that stuff. It's a, it's a, I'm glad they told that in the description because I'm sure some people wouldn't even recognize that. But uh, beautiful stuff. Finished basement there. Uh, set up possibly even as an apartment at $7.99 to me. How can you go wrong? Terrific home. I love this look here with the dormers, that kind of Cape Cottage look. Fantastic. So anyhow, uh, that is the list for today. If you have any questions, give us a call, and we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. This is Chuck. See you later. Bye.